Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Edo and I'm going to be producing some Lost Ark videos for this channel. Uh, if some of you are kind of confused as uh, what is happening, Feed did release a video explaining uh, the partnership and what I'll be focusing on and what she'll be focusing on here in this channel. So if you guys have not seen that already, I'll go ahead and put a card to it in the top right hand corner of this video. And as always, if you guys do enjoy this type of content, don't forget to leave a like consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos go live. So in today's topic, I'm going to be covering alts and kind of what to do with alts, why you need alts, how many should you have and how to kind of gear them up effectively. First and foremost, I kind of want to go ahead and talk about what happens once you have one character at level 50 and you have completed North Vern. Once you've completed North Vern, and you have a character level 50, the game will go ahead and award you with a power pass. And what a power pass does is it gets one of your characters to level 50 and 302 item level gear. Now, when you use a power pass, the game will go ahead and award you with yet another power pass. So effectively giving you two free power passes. And therefore you can use it to have two alts and one main. And that's totally fine. And that's probably a good spot to kind of start and hopefully implement some things that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. And once you get more comfortable with doing this routine, you can start expanding your roster to include more and more alts to go ahead and farm faster and more efficiently in this game of Lost Ark. All right, so here I am on one of my alts. Uh, his item level is uh, 340, and I'll kind of get into that in just a second of why it's there. But I first wanna kind of talk about the importance of alts. So. Alts, what they end up doing is um, all of your Chaos Dungeons, Guardian Raids, and Abyss Dungeons, they're all linked onto one character. So you can do two Chaos Dungeons on your main, and then you can also do two Chaos Dungeons on your alt, and you'll still be getting that uh, juicy loot because you have the Aura of Resonance, all right? And so what you'll be doing is hypothetically if you know my character was in tier three i would go ahead and be doing tier three chaos dungeons on this alt and giving all my materials to my main and effectively getting them at a higher item level to clear more and more content to progress more into this game as of right now i i have a lot of tier ones and i got myself a tier two alt and he's kind of just staying there currently uh because i want to get my sork up to tier two so that way i can kind of you know funnel everything from one alt to the next and hopefully get them to tier three as fast as possible while still working on my tier ones and amassing a lot of materials to either sell or save up for any future characters that i am excited to play so right now i'm gonna break down i guess the different stages or the different type of players in this game and i just want to say that this is a mmorpg and so you can play this game however you'd like the point of a video game is to have fun and for some people, it might be going ahead and collecting Makoko seeds, uh, which I do from time to time. Some people might be island exploration. And so I just want to say that any way you choose to enjoy this is totally fine. Um, I'm going to be breaking down some ways to, you know, use your alts if people don't have that much time or the more of casuals. And then hopefully people who are more in the mid, mid of the pack. And then lastly, more hardcore players and what they should be focusing on a daily basis to get the most out of your alts so i'm going to talk about i guess more of the casual gamers first um, and kind of some tips of what you should be doing on a daily basis and one of the things i recommend is your chaos dungeons chaos dungeons take between five to maybe seven minutes depending on the class which translates to about 20 minutes to 30 minutes a day just hopping on your alts and clearing a chaos dungeon um, if you do have a little bit more time and you have either a friend or like i said you have more time today you can also go ahead and do your guardian raids because they also award you with materials um, now if you do your guardian raids i really really recommend you go ahead and pick up your unas weekly for a guardian raid the one that awards you with leap stones because leap stones in this game kind of get you from hitting you know tier two and then in tier two leap stones are also very essential so making sure you stack these up and use them as you need them is going to be a huge plus to progressing your character now i know this says perform six guardians i mean perform six soul harvests 
But if you have a rest bonus, every bar that you have filled up, you will go ahead and get two Guardian Souls after you complete one boss. So for example, if I'm going to be doing this 340 Guardian Raid, the first time I do it for my daily, I'll get I'll go ahead and get two. Second time I do it for my daily, I'll go ahead and get four. And that's already four out of my six for the week. So whenever I have more time on the weekends, I can go ahead and finish this up and make sure I get my Una's task weekly uh, completed. Now for people more in the middle of the pack who have a little bit more time to invest into this game, I would also say make sure you do your Chaos Dungeons, do your Guardian Raids, or if you don't have time for Guardian Raids and want to do something else, you can also go ahead and do your Abyssal Dungeons. Um, keep in mind, these are actually on a weekly basis, so I would prioritize maybe doing this first because you can kind of, kind of get some gold out of it, some legendary cards which are important, and then obviously some engraving books which can either be sold or used uh, across your alts if you have different alts that can probably be uh, useful on. Now, more for like the hardcore players who really just want to progress to this game, want to, you know, to be the highest item level, enjoy all the new content that's probably going to be coming out in March. This is more for you. What I would do is making sure that you do your Chaos Dungeons, your Guardian Raids, your ab Weekly Abyss Dungeons, making sure you go ahead and start completing your Unas Dailies, which can award you with materials as well, and making sure you making sure you complete your Una's weeklies. Um, the weeklies obviously I would focus on is this Guardian Raid one, and you can also go ahead and type in uh, Leap Stones, and I'll be focusing on either the Guardian Raid, or if you have a Boss Rush ticket, you can go ahead and make sure you do a Boss Rush, and obviously you can do two PVPs. These things will give you the, the most, most Leap Stones, uh, and that way you can go ahead and progress faster and faster. Aside from that, there's something else that I go ahead and do, which I call Sailies. Sailies are these events that I'm tracking on the top, on the left hand side of the screen, which is a co-op Sailie that awards you with pirate coins and a coin of the respected um, co-op one that you do. Right here is a Gehenna coin. Over here, I can get an ancient coin and so on and so forth. These things happen three times a day at the exact same hours every single time. And so the reason I'm talking about these is because um, I'm planning on making a video on how I effectively use these co-op sailings to gear up my alts and amass quite a quite a nice cushion for any alts that I'm trying to gear up. As you can see, I have you know quite a lot of tier one materials, tier two materials, which are going to be pumped in to hopefully get all my alts to tier three. Now that I've kind of talked about the, the different types of people that I think are in this game, I kind of want to talk about how to gear up your alts effectively and what you should be doing. First and foremost, if you have not gone to your stronghold and researched um, EXP reduction for uh, shards and honing success chance, that is a must. The reason being is because the honing success chance will give you an additional 20% chance to in for success on your gear as well as 20% less shards consumed when enhancing. All right, so let's say you've done that, you researched everything, now what? My, my alt is at 302, I did my power pass, what should I do to get them higher? Well, first and foremost, you're gonna be going to your Chaos Dungeon and doing the item level 250 Chaos Dungeon and then hopefully pushing them to 340, as 340 is where you can start doing the second level of Guardian Raids the second level of the Chaos Dungeon, as well as being able to get into your Weekly Abyss Dungeon. So the way these things kind of work, Chaos Dungeons and, you know, uh, Guardian Raids, is the higher you go up in these things and item level, the more enhanced materials you get. So ultimately, if you leave an alt at 250, and you don't, or I mean, if you leave an alt at 302, and you just want to gear up one alt, and you get them as high as you can, you are going to be losing some materials in the long run, which is fine. I mean, ultimately play it how you would like to. But the most effective way is just to get them to 340. As you can see, my alts here, I have one at 340. Another one I'm on right now, it's at 340. And then I have, you know, one of my other main alts at 420. My Gun Lancer is a special case. I thought I have a love for him. He's kind of hard to play right now. And so he's kind of on the back burner right now. Something that you guys need to note that is very important when it comes to gearing up alts is the Chaos Dungeon materials and also the Guardian Raids 
some of the materials are actually not character bound. They're actually considered roster bound. So when you go ahead and start doing your chaos dungeons and everything, you'll notice that there's some that are tradable and some that are not. What I typically like to do for gearing up my alts and how I go about doing it is I go ahead and get them to different increments of item levels based on the tower that I'm going to be clearing. Now I'm going to go over to the tower right now and I'm going to kind of explain that to you. So here we are at the tower. Um, and if you haven't been here since you've done it on your main, when you come here on any other character, like an alt, and you, you've already are completed the one on your main, like let's say you've completed this one up to floor 50, your alts all get enhancing materials. If you have not done this on your main, then the first character you clear this with, with will give you other materials such as books, some cards, some uh, skill potions, so on and so forth. But on every other character you do, you'll get materials. Same thing that happens for their tier 2 tower, you also get materials. I haven't completed the whole thing, so if you look right here, if I do this for 49 and 450 on this alt, I will go ahead and get my skill potion and a, a creation fragment. But if I were to complete this on my main, I would be getting honing materials. So what do you do with these? So these honing materials, they're all uh, bound. Uh, as you can see, these are all untradeable, right? So my theory, not my theory, I guess more of like my way of enhancing is as follows. I go ahead and get my alt to 340. The reason being is because you can go ahead and get these uh, Harmony Shard pouches, some Leap Stones, and then you start getting some fragments, right? And so I would use all these materials to get this alt as high as I possibly can with the materials that I'm given by the, by the tower. If I get up to 380, that's perfect. Then I'll go ahead and do my 380 as high as possibly can, get more materials, so on and so forth because I'm trying to use these bound materials first, so that way I can go ahead and make sure I amass a, a lot of unbound materials, so I can go ahead and give it to my other alts that I'm gonna be creating, and hopefully get them out of these tiers much, much faster. Now, if you guys are wondering where you can get even more materials, Fee actually released, or Phoenix, actually released a video explaining ways to get easy um, Honey materials, which those materials are actually uh, unbound. Some of them are bound, I believe, and but most of them are actually unbound. And so that's how I amass so much of these uh, unbound materials in my roster storage. And that's what I'm currently using to go ahead and pump it into my alts every single day. So if you guys have not seen that video, please make sure you guys go check that out. It's very, very informational. And I will go ahead and be doing a video, like I said, on how to probably do Sailies, so that way you can go ahead and fund all of those purchases purchases that Fee suggested to do. I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video and actually found this informational. I know it wasn't every possible nook and cranny about alts, but this is just a, I guess, an introduction how you should be doing alts and what the ultimate goal is for an alt. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, um, like I said, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing, and leave a comment down below if you guys have any more questions. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.